During the first ever Frugal Innovation Practicum, students across diverse cultures and disciplines worked together to understand and practice inclusive and collaborative innovation with small-scale retailers in urban markets in Lalongwe, Malawi. The course used online, in-class, and field-based activities to understand how frugal or inclusive innovation might be encouraged in Lalongwe's urban and formal markets. After the online and in-class segments of the course, Michigan State University students flew across the globe to work with students from Lalongwe University of Agriculture and Natural Resources. We, we came up with this concept uh, of involving students to find out more about how uh, we can develop innovations together with the people that uh, are concerned with their everyday life. Students that are here are motivated by learning, by an opportunity to experience and work in a different culture, to collaborate and work with students from another university whose backgrounds are very diverse and very different. We flew into Malawi, Lalongwe, Malawi, which is the capital of Malawi, and we're focusing on the markets here. There are eight students from Rwanda, eight from Michigan State University, and we've got three facilitators, I think, lectures from MSU and eight lectures from um, Luana that are participating. The, the markets in Malawi have a lot of challenges. Most of them, they are informal markets, they are unassisted markets, they are operating under people's own initiatives. So like there are a lot of problems, a lot of challenges in the markets, so really they need assistance. This word innovation comes up a lot. People use it all the time. What I think it becomes shorthand for is like a particular technology, like a, a shiny object. And innovation is really problem solving. It's not only like the people who we think are smart or well resourced or whatever who are doing these, who are doing problem solving to solve the issues in their own lives. It's everybody. It starts with the basis of how entrepreneurs work and what, what it is they're doing in the markets and then from there um, kind of funnels it into a larger system of knowledge diffusion, um, looking at what resources they use, um, and then looking at how those resources and interactions within the system um, gain legitimacy and credibility and therefore how it sustains and then evolves. It brings in spontaneous and good ideas into a, an already working like, environment. So the innovation system is something that can really be practical and can work. After the students got acquainted, it was time to get familiar with the Lalongwe markets. They started by observing the four markets as one group, Soka Market, Central Market, Area 47, and Area 25. Later, they would be divided into smaller groups of three to four. Each group would be assigned one of the four markets to work with in detail. Everybody just wants to talk to you and get to know you and why are you here, what are you doing, where did you come from, like everybody wants to know. If I was doing a normal ma market research, uh, it would be different, like maybe people would not be even interested to hear what I was going to say. But looking at the, my colleagues from MSU, like people were like anxious. Like, what is this? It was um, very intense going into it, and I was actually very afraid at times, just because people were so close to you, and being a white person, or a, a Mzungu, as they call it, it's kind of, it's, it's hard to see whether they're laughing at you, or they're, you know, they're just happy to see you. They're crowded and busy, and people are yelling things at you, so my initial reaction was to be a little like on edge and nervous and they'll say things in Chichewa that we can't understand and so we're asking the students, you know, like what are they saying? I wasn't expecting to be so out of our element there at first, but I'm also surprised by how easy it was to get used to things and how much we've kind of found our place here and now we're comfortable in the markets and we're comfortable talking to people. Students had lectures which guided them as they worked in the markets on topics such as background of markets in Africa, methods and approaches, and policy. After lecture in the morning, we usually have a small lunch here at the Eco Center, and then we head a uh, half hour to 40 minute drive into a long way to uh, sort of get engaged and get active with the markets. Okay, the lectures have been on different things, guiding us as we move through the markets. For example, on the first day, we learned about the urban markets in Lilongwe. They gave us the structure of the markets, uh, what to expect in the markets, and this was done by the director of commerce in the city council. 
some of the uh, lectures, for example, was on mapping as to how we can map, a special map, a social map, and like to follow up what we we have to go to the markets and come back and reflect and write up something so that at the end of the day we come up that, with something that is concrete and with evidence. Being in the lecture first and learning the basis of what we're trying to do has been helpful. Um, I think then diving into it and just looking at the markets and trying to map them out gives us a better perspective of what's really in the markets and who really needs to be innovating or what needs to be innovated in the market. When I was going to the market like every day, like if I decided to go to the market to do some shopping, I'm just going there to just do some shopping. You know, basically I know where I'm going. I know I'm going to get my clothes. I know this is where I have to go. If I'm going to get food, I know this is where I have to go. But then here, I'm going in mind where, I'm going with a mind where I have to spot out something, you know, where I have to not just walk around, but I have to see what's actually happening. So with that, actually, I've been able to see things that I did not know that were there. Once students were assigned their groups and markets, they mapped the markets to understand the structures, spoke with market vendors about their problems, analyzed what was working and not working, and conducted focus groups with market vendors to address specific concerns. For you to make a, 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 a long-lasting change, a sustainable uh, change, you involve the people that live that life, or they, the innovations have to be meaningful to the people that uh, uh, doing such type of livelihood. This study has even made me to be more sorry of the things that are happening in the market. There were some things that I didn't know that are happening in the market. There, are some, there, there were some things that I was uh, probably overlooking them, but this study has opened my eyes. We are doing it as a system in the sense that we are allowing different players to take part in the, uh, um, this innovation, like it's, it's not just us saying, here we are, this is what we do, this is your problem, we do it like this. No, we kind of like interacting with different people at different levels, at different networks that they have in the market, the, the, the city council, the vendors, the leaders, and the farmers that are bringing the produce. So it's kind of like we're looking at it as a whole. If you ever are engaged in a a work that is intended to serve somebody, it's really important to get the perspectives from them. Ideas and perspectives can be really different from the people who are often not asked their opinion, that things can be very different and, very, and that, it's a, that it's really necessary to do that. <laughs> putting together people from which you would like to get the information from, putting them together and uh, try to source the information, not as individuals, but as a group. They wanted us to do something To their, to, the, to their challenges because they thought that that is more effective than involving them to do the problem. So it was a, a, a little bit challenging to make them uh, see themselves as a solution to their uh, problems instead of the norm that they think somebody comes and uh, sort out uh, the problems that are happening around them. So they like open up questions, say, what are you selling? How do you get them? Now those are kind of open up questions, so everybody was able to speak. Now when we switch to those kind of sensitive questions, it wasn't difficult for them to to give a feedback. For example, now we after asking them the general questions, like what are you selling, what are the ch changes on themselves. Now we switch over to say, for example, what's the communication? How do you see the city council? Are they helping? Are they are they listening to your problems? I could see people who were trusting us that. Uh, we could be uh, the genesis of, their, of the solutions that they might have to their challenges. That responsibility that, ooh, come, help us uh, realize ways on how we can solve our own problems. They all seem to have developed an understanding and appreciation and empathy towards what's going on in, in urban markets, which is more like, that's essentially 
all that I had hoped for. Seeing the passion that you students had, like from the markets, the way, because I, I was able to visit a students in the markets and seeing how you were engaging with the people. I think that was really humbling and uh, uh, yeah, fulfilling for me because I thought like you were, we were sharing a passion because I also have that passion. It was intense, the program was intense, but to see you that you were really keen to know more and learn more and just the way you were engaging with the people in the market. One of the most rewarding aspects of the program was the students' interactions with one another. Coming from diverse cultures, backgrounds, and disciplines, they are enthusiastic to learn about commonalities and differences of their experiences and perspectives, which had a positive influence in the progress of their work. I think interacting with the Luana students has been my favorite part of the practicum so far. Um, just because they are so engaging and warm and friendly and they're, we're like so curious about each other's um, backgrounds that we're just constantly asking each other's questions and it's okay to do because we're so different so we're like allowed to ask them like why and what all you know over and over again. Even though our lives are so different we're more alike than we are different you know we're driven by the same kinds of things even though our, every, our lives are so different and uh, I think these kinds of experiences can be at least it was for me uh, can be life-changing. We're all here for the same purpose I should say yeah so we all have that understanding of what we all want to do. We all have the same vision right now. For MSU students, they have gained, uh, they, they have appreciated the complex, uh, complexity of uh, problems that are happening in the South, not only in terms of uh, uh, just how, how the, the, the issues of food security works, but also just the challenges that one have to do in terms of research, what you need to adjust. I'm sure you can appreciate with me sometimes transport problems, internet problems, are not what you envisaged in America, for instance, and to be able to to to, uh, to, uh, to I mean, synergize all that within a new cultural setting, I think they have appreciated more, but still have been able to produce that outstanding result. If you can't see something, um, then there's going to be somebody else who can and who can add and grow your perspective on it, um, as well as the collective perspective of the group. And so when you're problem solving, it's definitely essential to be open and to be critical both of yourself, you know, having that dialectical um, conversation with yourself as well as with other people. For Luana students, um, not only uh, when you are a Malawian, you take for granted so many things. We go to the same markets every day, but you don't sit back and try to reflect what uh, beyond what you're doing. So they've had a chance to even sit back and see, okay, there's more to it than buying and selling. What can we make of it and how can we uh, influence policy or even improve the welfare of traders beyond the buying and selling? Our own views, right, are not the only uh, views which can sustain. But bringing in other views from other cultures, it has also helped to shape my thinking in terms of other problems. An outsider perspective can make you see the environment that you've been in your whole life look new again. So I just, I think that's a real value in bringing people together. One of our group mates, Kevin, has a finance background, so he can be, he can talk about microfinance solutions to these agricultural problems that they wouldn't otherwise be aware of. And like Trish is interdisciplinary studies, and so she has more of like a psychological, social background, so she's constantly thinking about how people might feel or, you know, how they can be most empowered. I've always been a fan of interdisciplinary work um, because I think that people, you know, life doesn't happen in disciplines, it doesn't happen in sectors, it, it, but I think that um, it's really hard to do interdisciplinary work and I've seen it through my own professional life that it just doesn't come together very easy. And so I also wanted to provide, I wanted this to be a thing where students from across disciplines could actually get together and would draw on their, their tacit knowledge and the knowledge from their, what they'd learned in their respective disciplines to problem solving in the markets. I think it provides a lot of great different perspectives, you know, you know, food security or, you know, the quality of life of people and, you know, policy, it's very all-encompassing. 
and that's what I that's what I like about this program too is that it's it's very you know you you get a very wide range of topics covered. Once the students finished collecting information from their markets, they worked with their groups to write policy briefs and make presentations displaying their findings, problems and innovations, and their experience throughout the practicum. They're starting to realize that it's complex and how the various elements all kind of fit together. And I think at first we think of innovation as, uh, you know, we, we, we bring in a solution. And now I think they're starting to realize that innovation is much more complex. You know, for our particular market, 25A, it just seems like there's a little bit of a, a disconnect between, you know, focus on the vendors and focus on, you know, higher up in the chain, there's a focus on infrastructure and there's a focus on kind of organization, but there's not really focus on organization within the vendors. People or the traders are just seeing the council coming into the market, collecting the fees, but they're not seeing them coming back to maintain uh, the structures or the market structures that are in very, very uh, sorry uh, state in the market. So these are the toilets for the market at Area 47. Um, they've been broken for a while and nobody has fixed them. So although vendors have to pay 50 kwacha every time they want to use the toilets, the money isn't coming back in to maintain it. It seems as if it's more of a top-down kind of a communication, that is from the city council to the vendors. While when the vendors like, communicate to the city council, issues are not sorted out quickly. For example, in our market, the vendors had to strike for a day in order for the city council to respond. So it seems as if there's no form of like, link between the vendors to the city councils. Students got to present what they had worked so intensely on for the past two weeks to the Lalongwe City Council, sparking much conversation and interest in the room. I had a chance to meet with the vendors themselves before they went and ask them the same questions. How do you think the presentations went today? And they were so excited and they were like, Actually, they're, they're exactly what they're saying, it's exactly what we, our pro problems is what we also wanted to present this afternoon. Uh, because uh, uh, since you came, this uh, project started, uh, they have also been called for another meeting by the same office, Mr. Mgwabo's office, who we are engaging to solicit more problems of what they are facing in the market. So they thought this was a pretty much good forum that has started a dialogue between them and the seat assembly, which they have been so much looking for. Their presentations were very, very good and very enlightening to us as the, uh, officers who comes up with the policy in terms of running the government and our markets. So they have actually given us new ideas as to how we can improve the status as it is on the ground out there. Because sometimes we feel we are doing a very good job, but with this insight, we are able now to know what are the gaps so that we help the business fraternity to do well in their businesses. We have seen that maybe the vendors may say that they, they know, we assume that they know, but yet with the communications lines that are there, it seems they have got actually a need to see us on the ground. Most of the times we are just sending maybe junior officers Yet the decision makers are not actually in uh, 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 close contact with the people on the ground. In addition to acknowledging important topics and working to make an impact, students sharpened their skills as problem solvers and communicators. They grew professionally and personally through an experience that each of them will forever cherish. Uh, I think the real benefit of it is really just kind of examining problems and thinking about them differently than we might have thought about it before. So the, the real value to me is that as, as a learning experience, and yes, hopefully we'll be able to make some difference for the who we're here to study and who we're to look at. To have them make connections with people halfway across the world, I think is really neat just to know that there's a whole other world outside Michigan and or whole, and it, not even to know that there's a whole nother world, but there's a whole nother way of looking at the world um, than maybe what they're used to. Getting to know MSU students. I mean, I've, I've met new people and I've met new connections like out there. I've learned a lot through this process, um, not just about you know, the food systems here, but I, I kind of feel like I've learned a bit about myself. So I've, I, you know, I, I feel like 
you know, I feel like it's been, you know, a success, you know, from an individual standpoint. Um, whether or not, you know, it's, it's a success going forward in the future, um, we'll have to see through, hopefully through another program, you know, another frugal innovations practicum. I feel like I've learned how to operate efficiently, even when you're uncomfortable. So we've kind of been thrown off into this, you know, completely out of our element, out of our comfort zones, and we still have to be students and researchers, and we still have work that we need to do. So it's, I guess, like taught me how, like, regardless of how you're feeling, like you still need to do what you came here to do. And it's like effortless now because we've done so much of it while we're here. Actually, it has even given me more hunger to say, I think we can do something for us, for our society. Instead of waiting for a solution to come from somewhere, we can do it ourselves. Uh, I'm very, very proud. It was a challenge. I was scared. Like, I know vendors, how they behave. I was scared, like, how are we going to, to get in those markets? How are we going? But I'm so proud that we were able to interact with the vendors very well. So this project has been so fulfilling. I, I think I've found that I was a little bit more um, adventurous than I thought I was going to be. The Frugal Innovation Practicum saw students across the globe and across disciplines connect and collaborate to efficiently analyze real market problems and innovations in the Longwe, Malawi, Africa. It was a truly unique and eye-opening experience for all involved.